We are joined now by Mr. Satish Kadu, founder and CEO Y Optima. Thank you so much for speaking with us today, sir. Thank you. My first question to you is, uh, what in your view are the effective channels for digital marketing? I'll hold it. Oh, thank you. You know, I think uh, this is a great question. I think it depends on what stage of the media maturity model you as a marketer are at. For example, many marketers would find performance first approach as the most effective channel in the initial journey when they are starting with Google Ads, which could be USC, PMAX, or Facebook, AAA, or the marketplaces if they are the D2C brands. And I think at that stage of the journey, when they are doing that zero to one journey, these are perhaps the most effective channels for them. As these brands then go to the next level of their scalability, which is we call as the one to 10 journey, is when they realize that the pure bottom funnel focus is actually no more the most effective way to do it because that's like adding one plus one plus one to get to 10. And that's when they realize that that linear scalability is actually coming at a much higher non-linear cost. And it's at that stage of the journey, they realize that they've got to invest in the brand. They've got to take the full funnel journey because when you do that, you actually improve your bottom funnel channels, conversion rate as well as scale. And that ultimately leads to you growing your organic scale, you improving the efficacy of your inorganic scale, and also adding some additional incrementality on the inorganic front. Though this is where we see programmatic marketing actually becoming the most effective channel for that next stage of journey. All right, thank you so much for that, sir. Now, in your view, um, if you can quickly tell us how important is big data and AI when we talk about digital marketing? Yeah. You know, digital marketing, perhaps unlike traditional marketing, has become a very interesting combination of art, science, and math, and almost more towards math and science, increasingly so, as you are dealing with a deluge of data quite often, and you have to find your way through to understand what's really working and what's not. The good thing is you have access to data, and you have a lot of data. The challenge is finding meaning out of that data sometimes is humanly impossible, highly time consuming, and sometimes fraught with just core mathematical challenges. Some of these things is, are things that we've seen at Y Optima as well, where you're dealing with the classic challenge of correlation versus causality, attribution modeling, and another interesting problem called Simpson's paradox. It's for problems like these that we see big data, machine learning, AI playing a huge role in finding answers. Overall, technology is the biggest disruptive force of our times, also the most democratizing force of our times, and we see that AI and ML actually help you find answers to some of the hardcore questions that we have where it's hard to find answers humanly. Having said that, human smartness is not about doing what the technology can do, but it's about structuring your problems better, asking for the, finding the right problems and asking the right questions and applying judgment. And it's in that area that we believe humans would continue to outsmart machines for the foreseeable future. Thank you so much for that, sir. And finally, in your view, uh, what will you, what are your thoughts on, you know, brand equity as a platform uh, and this, uh, uh, you know, forum that we have today, DigiPlus Fest 23, how is brand equity integrating itself into the success stories of organizations and brands? You know, I think if there is one name that's ruling the roost for several decades in the advertising and marketing community as a brand that has created real equity in this space and a power of aggregation, it is AT Brand Equity. And therefore, it was actually a no-brainer for us when we saw an opportunity to be part of this forum and the kind of equity it commands in the ecosystem is second to none. And that's, that's what we really think that brand equity stands for. And it's amazing to see the aggregation of some of the best minds and the marketing minds in the country here and looking forward to having a great time. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time, Thank sir. You. And that's all that we have from Mr. Kadu for today. Stay tuned as we bring you more guest speakers from the session. Thank you, sir. Thank you.